How do you become AC certified? All right, we're gonna start off with talking about the work experience. If you wanna become AC certified, you're gonna need actual hands-on repair work experience to be certified in the A series, T series, S series, H series, and other applicable series. Now, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the automotive series just to give you some examples. But if you wanna be certified as an AAC technician, it's not that hard, but you just wanna make sure you know what direction you wanna go. So we have work experience, education experience, and relatable military experience. Now let's start off with work experience. If you're gonna want your G1 certification, you're gonna need a one year of experience as a repair technician. Now, if you want to get your A1 to A9, your B2 to B5, your E1 to E3, your F1, H1 to H8, S7, T1 to T8, and X1, and et cetera, you're gonna need two years of work experience. You're gonna actually have to be working in that field. If you're gonna be going for your truck technician certification, you're probably gonna to wanna to be working on trucks. If you're gonna want your automotive service technician, you're gonna probably wanna be working on cars. Now, the cool thing is that most likely if you've been working on trucks, you can work on cars, but sometimes those, aren't, those don't cross over into automotive to trucks. But just to give you an example, experience is invaluable and it's gonna be really helpful when you're trying to get that certification. So if you're gonna want to get your L1 certification, which is one of the most proudest certifications I have. It was a really hard test, took me five times to pass it. You're gonna to wanna to have three years of experience. So remember, G1 one year, the rest of the majority of the test is gonna be two years, and your advanced tests are gonna be three years. And we're now gonna talk about the educational experience or uh, certification programs, vocational programs, trade school programs, or specific manufacturer programs, how much they're gonna help you to get that uh, experience requirement completed. And it's really gonna vary. So before I start talking about what AAC talks about, I recommend whatever program you're gonna go do that you make sure or that you're in, that you make sure that you're actually gonna get that certain requirement that you've been promised or that you're thinking you're gonna get. Uh, you just wanna verify with both ASC and your school and your program that they're gonna match up. And the reason why is because they vary. So first off, if you're going to be going to a, if you're gonna complete an AC credit program, you're gonna get six months towards a year requirement for the repair technician. If you complete uh, an AC accredited OEM sponsored co-op program, you're gonna get a year towards the year, which is pretty cool. Uh, so those guys who are working for manufacturers and dealerships, you guys are pretty lucky on that. If you pass three or more different AAC entry level certificate program tests, it's gonna count six months, which is pretty cool. And then all other training, two months or full-time training of 200 program hours equals one month of credit and up to six months towards your one year requirement. Ooh, that last one is a little tough because these dealership guys are going to these programs and are getting one for one and these other programs are getting like pennies on the dollar. But that's not me for to talk about. It's really important for you guys to know the difference. So whenever you're picking a program or if you're in a program, you just have to make sure you know. Now, everything varies, so always double check. And now we're gonna come down to uh, military service. Now, I am an active duty uh, military veteran. I served in the combat zone and I actually did a lot of technical stuff in my job. So if I wanted to, I'm pretty sure I could get certain things like maybe the electrical certifications uh, uh, accredited or I got credit for that experience because of my military service. So if you think you did something in the military that was applicable to working on trucks and cars and uh, stuff like that, equipment, because equipment is kind of generators and stuff like that, they have a similar type of mechanics. Um, you wanna submit your DD-214 and you could possibly get some work experience based on that. Now, that doesn't mean you can't go take the AAC test. The only thing is you won't be certified. But I think it's pretty cool because you could go take a test and you could challenge yourself and you could test your knowledge in automotive and trucks and paint and service advisor and all kinds of advanced stuff. So if you wanna take the test, you could go take the test at an authorized tasting center that AAC has approved and you could go try out your knowledge. 
and get inspired to hopefully one day get certified. Now when you do get certified, you get some cool stuff, you get some swag, you get stickers, you get, uh, every time you pass a test, you get a new certificate, diploma, whatever you want to call it, you get an ID, you get all kinds of stuff, patches. Uh, I even, when I passed my O1, I got a really cool coin, which I'm super proud of. Again, I love the O1, but it's really, really neat. So if you want to get started with the AC test, now you know the requirements to take them and also to be certified. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. You take care, stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon.